one of the most beautiful interiors really don't like and already miss is the watch we don't have an analog watch also with the front you see that super cool really love that guys like this time to start the night drive let's go my favorite one is this and the blue one wow which one do you prefer the pink or the blue comment that down below hello guys i am back welcoming you all with this brand new mercedes-benz e cabriolet uh, here we have the e 450 uh, formatic painted in patagonia red with the amg line and without the night package and in today's video we will be doing a quick walk around since we have already done that uh, with almost exactly the same car just a quick one then we will jump inside and i'm going to take you all for a drive with this so uh, let me first talk about this car in specific for me the most beautiful summer car unfortunately not the best summer weather here in Düsseldorf, germany but still we will be enjoying this let me talk about this kind specific uh, we have the 450 engine formatic producing 367 brake horsepower we also have for the first time the starter generator supporting the engine with 22 horsepower and uh, yeah it's it's really quick and powerful there is also a e200 220 300 the 400 450 and the 53 amg so uh, let's just start with a quick walk around starting with the front here we have uh, the amg line option uh, no night package as you see we have the updated headlights here just a quick look the uh, e-class facelift headlights which we know from uh, the sedan the coupe the estate and also here on the cabriolet then we have the updated front grille a shape now back then it was v-shape we also have a black gloss grille frame here horizontal grille with the diamond pins the mercedes front star emblem the camera the mercedes-benz emblem on the bonnet looking really nice then we have the front splitter finished in chrome and the intakes in plastic as you know not a big fan of this but still really looking nice and sharp how do you guys like it so let's just continue as i said just a quick walk around here we have the rims these are 20 inch mercedes benz multi-spoke rims for me the most beautiful ones very decent and sporty look uh, finished in uh, silver with the inside in black and the amg engraved as we don't have the night package this all finished in chrome but even if we had the night package on the cabriolet models we always have this in chrome and since we have the keyless go package this is also finished in chrome so even if we had the night package these would be all still chrome uh, the rear wheels also 20 inch beautiful let's continue with the rear here we have the e450 specific rear as you know updated tail lights everything else is almost the same since we have just a facelift here these are the updated tail lights looking really nice and sharp now the E450 badge, the Mercedes Star formatic badge as well. The Diffuso finished in chrome plus kind of plastic parts here. Not a big fan as always. And we have the roof finished in black. So that's it for a fast walk around. Uh, let's just step inside and let's start with the interior. But wait, I forgot something to show you before we start with the interior. Here we have the Mercedes key, latest design, beautiful in silver with the black gloss buttons. Uh, really looking nice and elegant, fits that beautiful car. Now let's start with the interior. Just a quick uh, show around since we have already experienced the same interior and same car a few months ago. Here we have the door panels uh, finished in a gray pearl with the white stitching with the beige cream parts here the leather beautiful and 
uh, something I really love is this gray wooden trim plus Bormester sound system. Really love that. Then we have the interior, the Mercedes entrance board, the AMG floor mats here. Let's just step inside and let me show you more of this interior. So here we are now inside the e-cabriolet. No way, it just starts to rain. No. Ah, oh, never mind. Um, but we won't be opening the roof today, I guess. Uh, but still, let's enjoy this beautiful interior. As you know, one of the most beautiful interiors I have uh, seen, especially here on the facelifted. We have the new steering wheel, beautiful finished in beige. Uh, beige leather trim here with the beige stitching. Then we have the gray wooden parts here. A really lovely look. Then we have the MBOX system here. Don't get confused by this one. Yes, this is not the updated and facelifted touchpad. This is old style touchpad we all know. Uh, but I have had a talk with the guys at Mercedes. They said uh, they couldn't fit the normal and updated touchpad due to these buttons here which are to control uh, the roof and the cabriolet options etc therefore uh, we still have this old cobra kind of look here uh, i don't mind but uh, the updated touchpad is a little bit slick and looks much better in my opinion but i hope we will get it uh, soon also something else which i really don't like and already miss is the watch we don't have an analog watch anymore um, like there's a space here but uh, it couldn't fit inside uh, they told me at Mercedes, um, but yes, it's really missing, guys. Um, so all in all, beautiful interior. We have the uh, base seats here. Uh, also, the rear passenger seats. Really love the stitching, the flowing lines uh, in combination with the grey pearl and the wooden grey trim. So it's time for us to start the engine and go out for a ride. Unfortunately without the roof open uh, but never mind we will make the best out of it so let me just start this one up and let's take this car out for a drive i hope we won't be having rain anymore afterwards <laughs> We will now heading out and taking you for a drive. Uh, we will be also uh, pushing this car on the autobahn. First of all, just uh, some uh, easy drives, uh, just for you to get a feeling how it is to drive inside. Also, um, it's very comfortable. It's uh, even more comfortable than the predecessor one, since we have the 48 volt battery supporting the engine, which makes it super easy and more comfortable to drive as you know we didn't have it uh, with the old one but this one it's just gorgeous also with the updated steering wheel how do you guys like this i'm really a huge fan uh, especially of this full beige one and in combination with the wooden trim it's just very elegant The steering is also very soft and uh, due to the airmatic air suspension we have a very nice ride inside feel very safe also while driving a little bit faster now we are on the autobahn waiting for the unrestricted sign to push this car and show you the performance of the 450 engine um, formatic e cabriolet
don't have any rain as you see still very cloudy um, let's let's open up the roof You can open it up and close it with this button and you can also open this compartment with this button you can lower all the windows with this button here which i'm doing right now and also you have the aerodynamic support for your cabriolet which you can enable with that button So before I forget it, I just want to show you something very cool, okay? Um, if I go and put that car into reverse, you have the camera popping up as usual. Uh, this camera, however, has a much better uh, resolution and uh, quality. And now look at this. If I turn um, and move the steering wheel to the left side, you see the camera is moving, which is super nice. Like depending the direction you move, the camera is also moving like a fish eye um, effect kind of. So you have uh, an, a bigger overview about uh, where you are driving right now. Also with the front, you see that? Super cool, really love that. Uh, a thumbs up for that because uh, the camera, like I, I am using the camera on a daily basis, very practical and very cool that they uh, improved the camera view for us. We have great weather. Uh, I'd also want to demonstrate you uh, the roof, how it opens and close. You can also do that with the key. You just need to step closer, press to unlock button and hold it. If you leave it, it won't go. Just hold it. There we go. If you step a few steps back, it will stop as you see here. You need to be as close as possible. There we go. Sorry for the wind noises. And uh, if you hold again, it, it's going to close all the windows. It's lowering them so you have the full uh, cabriolet mood on now it's time to start the night drive let's go so now we are continuing the drive out with a night drive and why to demonstrate you guys this gorgeous interior especially the beautiful ambient lighting here we have set the brightness to the max and the color to a pink tone to match the beige and uh, wooden trim uh, which looks absolutely beautiful. How do you guys like it? Now we will be heading uh, to the autobahn, also a night autobahn run for you. Then afterwards we will be driving around, showing you a few cool things and else. So enjoy. Something also very cool, which I can only demonstrate you by night, is the full high beam lights and how they like pop up. Just look at this. Wow, so nice. Let's let's do it again. And if there's like cars come in, the lightning will adjust, set itself so it would not um, annoy other drivers with the lights. And before you all ask, yes, we have the ambient lighting here. Um, it's an optional package which I really recommend you all guys to get because it's super chill you have 64 different colors to choose there's also multi colored option um, let, let's just demonstrate you the like the coolest colors first of all uh, pink is very nice to set the ambient light you just go to uh, the car settings here then uh, we go to lights and select ambient lighting and then you can just, just choose the color or brightness. We go with the color. And here you have 64 different colors to choose. And uh, my favorite one is this and the blue one. 
Wow, these are my two uh, favorite colors. Uh, which one do you prefer, the pink or the blue? Comment that down below. Something very practical if you move to uh, the traffic lights. There we go. You have a camera which is installed over here, uh, which is showing you the traffic lights. Uh, because mostly you, if you drive too near to the traffic lights, you don't have the possibility to see them. And uh, this really helps us a lot on a daily basis. Very practical. And uh, I would also recommend you all guys to get this and enable it. Now we will be heading to the Autobahn to demonstrate you the performance in the night. And uh, we might have an empty Autobahn to really push it to the limits and also to show you how cool it looks with the ambient light fully set on so let's go so we are now on the autobahn entrance we will be heading down pushing it to the limit so let's go first set the car to sport plus Honestly, I personally prefer to have like chill, drive, drive around with cool music. I'm not a huge fan of the Autobahn. It's like, it's cool to do, but uh, we don't do it uh, very often. Uh, but since you guys really love it, we will be doing it. So the last run for tonight. That's it basically for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed as much as we did. As a final resume and a huge eCoupe Cabriolet fanboy, I have to say the facelift came with several improvements also when talking about the comfort of this car. But all in all, great and beautiful daily driver also, beautiful interior also, especially this spec here with the full beige and the gray wooden trim. How did you guys like it? Is there anything you didn't like? Uh, if so, please comment down below. Already looking forward to read your comments and also looking forward to see you again. Wish you all a great day. I will be back.